All right, we're gonna do our test to see if our fix fix the problem. I've got it freezing now. I just started it uh, a couple minutes ago. I put in three trays of tomato uh, juice. So we'll dry those and see how that goes. We'll see if we get in the air and we can cross our fingers because I think we got it fixed. If so, that'd be uh, some good information. So I'll come back once we get there, if we, once we get to the next stage and our screen changes and updates us to uh, either going into vacuum freezing, which we won't see the problem until we get into vacuum freezing right now. It's still freezing. It's, it's up to, uh, it's 31 degrees right now. We've only been going for a couple minutes. I did let it uh, cool for uh, about a half hour before I put it in because I got occupied on something else. But uh, anyway, we'll come back once this gets there into the next day. A little bit of update on the first uh, vacuum freezing, or I mean the first uh, freeze drying after we uh, uh, fixed the leak. Uh, we're uh, eight hours into it. It's, it's down to minus 40 degrees and still dropping. Our, uh, we're at uh, like 1356 7 millitors. We haven't gotten the uh, number nine vacuum error, but sometimes it goes along before it happens. So we'll just kind of let it go a little bit more and uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, probably won't watch it two more tonight. It's getting kind of late. So we'll, we'll check it in the morning and see what it does. See if it uh, is continuing on or if we have the error and I, I think we've got it fixed. So. Uh, we'll just plan on uh, it being fixed and working and and yeah, will everybody else know how this turned out But that's where we're at and so far so good Well, we got that error again, so I put a little more tightening on that sensor back there And we're going to continue and see what it does then well, I, hit, I hit the pause vacuum and then restart the vacuum and hit uh, continue and then we're going to see what it does now um, after putting just a little bit of turn on the sensor to get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure how much further I can go, but we'll have to check and see how far that code card is uh, to the unit itself. So we'll see. It, obviously, it didn't fix the, the problem yet, so we're going to have to do some more troubleshooting, but uh, I'll have to wait till uh, Monday because they're not in the office uh, today and over the weekend. So. That's where we're at, and that didn't fix it completely, so we'll have to go next step. I can see I got a little bit more I can tighten it down. Uh, that, that circuit board there needs to not be touching the container, uh, the insulation on it. But uh, I can tighten it down just a little bit more if I need to. If it doesn't work, I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll see if that fixes it. After tightening that sensor up just a little bit more, then I I had to cancel it because I'd started it back up and it, it aired out. And then when I tightened it up, then I just went and canceled it and restarted it. And it's uh, kind of moving along here at minus 47 degrees. And the uh, pressure is dropping not very fast but it is dropping so we'll we'll see what's going on uh, i think it was just that the process was going and it seen it too high and, and just needed to say hey restart go over so let's see if this one errors out if that does then i know or we didn't fix it with that last little tweak on the connector all right we failed on the restart of the freeze drying it gave us the error twice more times so i stop it I took everything out, cleaned all this this out, and then run the freeze dryer. And I tightened up that connector as far as it go before it hit the uh, uh, the tank. So I've tightened it up a little bit more. And now we're going to go here. We've gotten down to um, pretty low. That's the lowest I've been able to get in quite a while. So that may have fixed it. But we're going to spray here in a couple seconds. We're going to spray that that connection again and see if that took care of it if it still rises then I'm gonna have to power it off I pull the connector off and try and put you know, another half a turn in there get that card pointing the other direction because I can't turn it any more tighter with that card on there because it's hitting into the tank 
So let me come around here and show you what I'm talking about here. If you look back in here, um, can't see very well on there, but you can see a little bit where it's it's hiding. Let's see if I can turn on the. There you go. Turn the. There it is. See, it's almost touching. So now, what I'd have to do, if that's not good enough, I'm going to have to take it back apart and turn it so it points up. The only problem with that is that capacitor right here is going to be in the way. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. We may have to take it off and put a little bit more Teflon tape on there to make it tighter. So hopefully this takes care of it. Uh, here in a second, we're going to test it. So let me go back around to the front. And now then we'll, we'll get ready to start spraying it. Okay, let's watch what it's doing. It, it's not, it's not moving. Well, that's a good thing then. Well, it went up one, it went up two. Let's spray some more here, let's see what it's doing. Okay, that's that's good. I'm just spraying. Yeah, it's still rising up. Yeah, let me. Yeah, it, it's rising up, so that still hasn't fixed. There's still leaking there. Let me put more Teflon tape on it, and I turned it down one, one full turn tighter. So we're going to let that run for a while and see what that does, and see what kind of pressures we get down to. We got down pretty low, so that was that was good. Um, so we got a little tighter, so we'll see what that does. We'll, we'll come back once we get a little more time in here and see what we get down to. Probably it's getting late enough now, I'll probably just let it run all night long. Here's an update after we did the, the last fix where we took the sensor out, wrapped up a few more wraps, tightened it down until it was snug and then turned it another full turn and as tight as we can pretty much get it. And we run the vacuum test and it was getting down to in the 200s, uh, high 200s. And then, so we went ahead and decided to go ahead and run a batch. So what we did was we put the, the tomatoes back in here on the bottom three trays, you know, right, um, right here, here, and here. Those are tomatoes. And then if you remember on an earlier video, I did some carrots whole. So I went ahead and threw them back in there. We're gonna see if this helps. They were froze as well. I put them in the freezer. Everything was frozen when I put in here. So we're gonna let this go here. We've been uh, right about 10 hours. I started it last night. And we're, we're running about 800 millitors, which, which isn't too bad. Uh, I think it'll drop down a little bit more. It, it seems to be dropping. So I think we might have had the fix done, but we'll, we won't know for sure whether or not it's fixed until we get this batch done. And then we'll run a couple other batches, and then if they've gone away, then, then we can kind of pass on that information that we went and back here in this sensor, right back here for the, for the uh, pressure. That one we've put on and take off several times. And I, I put more and more wraps on there. I can see why they put, you know, like 12 wraps. I ended up with about eight wraps. Got it in there, got it snugged up. Because when I did the six wraps, it just wasn't tight enough. It had a little bit of a leak. So I pulled it off, put some more wraps on there. And then it got snug. And then I turned it around where I had it the last time tight enough. But another full turn after that. So it got really tight. And then put the card on. And there's just enough clearance. So you go here and see where the card is. See, I could go just slightly more, but we're just about touching. I don't want it to really touch. So that's how far we turn it around. So 
as you can see, we've been running about 14 or 14 minutes. We're down to 370 military, so that's doing a lot better than it was before. And what I did on that sensor is I put a few more wraps on it, and I snugged it up like I did before, but then I turned it another full turn after I thought it was tight. And then I have it, you know, a little extra tighter and a little bit more wrap on there. And it seems like it's doing pretty good. Uh, we'll, we'll see how far it gets down to, and then we'll spray it one more time and have our fingers crossed that this, this little time it'll work because it dropped down really quick. Uh, you know, 15 minutes, we're already down to 364. And we'll let it sit there for a while and see what it does if it goes down even more.